just off the path to the viewpoint, there's four of these not so stealth sites. And right over there is the path back to the trail. Depending on our timing today, I'm gonna have something cool to show y'all. I've tried not to date my videos, but I'm gonna make an exception. Today, we're gonna go up Zeeland Mountain and South Twin Mountain, which are both 48 footers. It's five miles to South Twin, but it's kind of like a up and downy thing. So hopefully it won't be too bad. It's not uh, all up. Looks like the, um, the descent after that's kind of bad, but that's the five miles for now problem. Slight correction, we don't go over Zeeland, it's a 0.1 side trail, I think. We go over Guyot, which is not considered a 48 footer, or a 4,000 footer, because I think you have to go down a certain amount before you can go back up or something. So, technically it's a 4,000 footer, but not officially for this count. There are a couple more. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool peak here, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Zeeland Mountain, like I said, is 0.1 off. It's a really nice flat walk. So if you want to hit one of the 4K mountains, that's an easy one to do uh, once you get up here. This is the trail so far. Pretty nice with some rocky areas. What about the second one? The second one was the son of the first Charles. He fled to France when his father was beheaded, but was restored to the throne in 1660. Uh, unfortunately, uh, chicken nugget tester is not, uh, not available. <laughs> Dog prints or some kind of wild animal. Full view going up. I think we're almost there. Should be right up there. There's a flag on top of South Twin. I believe this mountain is North Twin. Right there's the flag. I'm not sure what this mountain is, but I think I see a flag on top of it. This is going down South Twin. Not really difficult, just a little slow going. If you live in New Hampshire, you probably uh, are aware of flags on the 48, but if you're not every year on September 11th, a group of volunteers will go up to every 48 footer in New Hampshire and erect a flag. 
I was a little disappointed because the way people had told me about it and what I'd seen, I thought I'd be able to like see the flags on the other mountains, but they really weren't visible because they were the size, they were house flags. They weren't like the big ones that you can see for miles and miles. This mountain here is Garfield. That's the one I didn't know at the top, but there's definitely a flag on top. And this is the Gilhead Hut. I have to turn off for the Gilhead Hut. Hike down wasn't too bad, just rocky and steep. Mushroom and barley soup. Four thirty, yes. It's a little after three o'clock. We're working our way up to the Garfield Ridge Shelter. The view going up one of these little climbs. That white thing there might be the sh uh, hut. I don't know what else it would be out here. to Walmart, who I have heard of but not met. He uh, hikes the trail with Walmart gear. I think this is like his fourth um, go. Uh, he seems to really enjoy it, but um, there was a hiker that drowned a few days ago and I wasn't able to look at the article. I could just see the headline. Uh, and it was a guy named Kanga he was hiking with his dad's ashes and uh, at least his dad's backpack, if not more gear. And according to Walmart, he was getting water somewhere or just near the water. And he fell, hit his head and drowned. Which is kind of not something you think about as a way you can die out here. Um, a few, maybe like a month before we got to McAfee Knob, uh, Grandmaster had fallen and died, and they're not sure, uh, well, they probably know, but his family hasn't released any, like, autopsy reports of if he had, like, a seizure or low blood pressure caused it or, you know, but, it's a surprising number of things that you wouldn't think of. It could be your end out here. In this section, it's the Garfield Ridge Trail, and the Garfield Ridge campsite is half a mile away. Ran into another hiker I know. I forgot to ask her name, but I'm pretty sure it's Kat. And the last time I saw her was at Bear Garden in Virginia. She's gonna run into chicken wings, so hopefully uh, she'll update me later if it's not Kat. But I'm pretty sure it is her. The has been fairly nice all day, and now we're back to walking in boulders and streams. Now we're basically climbing up a waterfall. 